Oh yeah, the wait is over. Season 5 of Fortnite Battle Royale is here, and the secrets are finally over. There are new ridiculous locations, new Battle Royale vehicles, new historically inspired skins, and a whole lot more. Epic Games just knocked it out of the park, and we've got all the amazing updates right here. Before we show you the major changes, make sure to like the video, subscribe to The Gamer, and hit that bell to be part of our notification squad, so you can be the first to see all our new videos. So what are we waiting for? Let's jump right into the Season 5 updates that you gotta see in Fortnite Battle Royale! Map Makeover This is crazy. Viking ships, desert outposts, and ancient statues have appeared on the island. And just a short time ago, we all saw the rocket explode from the villain's base into the sky, leaving a trail of bright colored fragments in the atmosphere. As the projectile jumped from spot to spot through warping tunnels, it was pretty cool and set up the massive changes that we have in Fortnite Battle Royale now. Bits and pieces warped away until we got Season 5, an all new map. When we jump from the battle bus, right away we can see a lot of changes. Let's check out each new location individually. First of all, there's Paradise Palms. Moisty Mire is long gone, and now it's replaced by a desert town that looks like somewhere people go to retire. There's a fancy pool, a cactus or two, rocks and ridges, and old school living all around. Plus there's weapons and chests in large supply, but because it's so new, expect a lot of competition. This setting is out of a Roadrunner cartoon. Its bright colors and winding roads make for a perfect chase scene. All you need now is a vehicle, right? And yes, we do have a new vehicle, but a little more on that later. When you follow along the road, you see speed limit signs, highway signs, pit stops, rest stops, a diner, and so much more. Epic may have erased a big chump in the map to add this location, but it was well worth it. Now just southeast of Snobby Shores, we have the Viking Village. It's not yet named, but we think that's a decent starting point. Here, the main attraction has got to be the massive Viking boat smack dab in the middle of the town. It's a super windy place, as you can see by the gigantic flag blowing in the wind. Another item of note here is the snow, a first for Battle Royale. It's a fun new addition that explains why so many of the new skins are this theme, including the final tier 100 Battle Pass skin, and we'll talk about that in just a bit. Next up we have the low key Lazy Lynx. This is a huge part of the new system Epic has in place with toys. Now you're able to get basketballs, golf balls, you name it, and actually play with them in game. What they teased in season four with soccer or football for our international viewers, now is happening everywhere you look. But let's get back to Lazy Lynx. It looks like to be a traditional style country club, complete with tons of features like a pool, a slide, relaxing spa areas, a tennis court, and of course, hole after hole of golf. And sand traps too. And this is one of the main home bases for our new favorite addition to the game, the all-terrain cart, which is a glorified golf cart. Hop on and take a ride, people. This next location is near and dear to a lot of people playing right now. It feels like it was only yesterday when season three was ending and people were scratching their heads wondering, where is the meteor gonna hit? What everyone assumed was Tilted Towers, but it's still standing. The Dusty Depot became the Dusty Divot, and now the Dusty Divot isn't so dusty anymore. Last season, some trees slowly but surely started to pop back up in Dusty, and now it's a full-on forest. I guess when Epic removed Moisty Mire, they decided they needed to re-add some lush greenery to the map. And things really are thriving here. There are shield mushrooms like before, but hop rocks are nowhere to be found for now. We hope this changes, but it doesn't look promising. Imagine being able to hop up in those trees. There's also a little pond as well, adding to the serene nature. There's still remnants of the facility in the middle of the meteor crash site, but it's bare bones compared to what it once was. Fighting here is more about hide and seek with the trees now, instead of crouching behind stairs and walls. We know this will make some people remember just how far the map has come since the earlier seasons, and with good reason. Things keep changing so much to make sure nobody playing gets bored, and this map is anything but boring. Dropping here in the early stages of Season 5 might actually net you a few easy kills. People want to jump down and see exactly what's changed. 
The power of nostalgia is a powerful thing, people. So if you want to get some easy experience, hop out of that battle bus, float down to the edge of Dusty Divot, and peek in to see if you can see any looky loose. Racking up the kills has never been easier. There's of course tons of more little places scattered throughout the map, and more and more will be added as the weeks go on in Fortnite. But for now, we'd recommend hopping on a cart with some friends and going exploring. Happy hunting. Battle Pass Presents. Yeah, this is how Epic Games get you to spend money. Battle Pass is definitely worth it in our opinion, and even though it's free to play, it's hard to imagine playing it without these extra items. The skins, the emotes, the dances, and the perks. Let's take a look at all the new Season 5 Battle Pass goodies. First of all, you can buy Battle Pass for 950 V-Bucks like normal. No surprises there. But when we open up the Battle Pass section, there's tons to get excited about. First of all, the two automatic skins with the pass, Huntress, the Norse Raider that would be at home with the Snow Viking ship, and Drift, the character with multiple unlockable tiers that end with several jackets and an intense Kitsune Fox mask. There's also a lot of new backblings, harvesting tools, contrails, and emotes as well. You gotta get these new dances as fast as possible, because they're just amazing. There's also going to be a new Beach Patrol Rescue set of skins, which includes the Sun Strider. There's toilet paper contrails too for you players who like to keep things a little light. And there's our Tier 100 skin, Ragnarok. Just like Drift, he has multiple unlockable styles, which culminate in a totally killer skull mask that'll make sure to scare almost anybody into submission. Instead of the blockbuster challenges, the Season 5 version are the road trip challenges, likely referring to the ability to cruise the streets in the all-terrain cart. And then we also have the pretty standard Week 1 challenges as well. All in all, a lot to unpack, but we're really excited to do so. All-terrain vehicle. The inclusion of vehicles in Fortnite Battle Royale was always a touchy subject for Epic Games. Players of PUBG already had them, and some people thought that it was a little too close for comfort to add them to Fortnite. But we got the shopping carts, which came and went because of bugs over and over, and now we have the all-terrain vehicle, which looks like a giant golf cart. This is probably the most fun part of the new update. You can pile four players into a cart together and cruise at a very fast speed, which are guaranteed to outrun any storm. Just like the shopping cart, the passengers are able to shoot, use the pickaxe, and throw grenades while moving. Pretty helpful, because you're probably going to be a pretty big target. Enemies will be able to hear you coming, but it's not too loud. You'll also want to be prepared to crash a lot with this too, but it won't matter much. You're able to flip it back over just like the shopping cart. The only difference is that you can actually blow the all-terrain cart up. Yep, crash it too many times and it's gone for good. Sorry. That doesn't mean you should play it safe though, because ramping this cart is half the fun. Taking it off cliffs and through trees and walls makes this an exciting and dangerous addition that we can only predict will get a whole new audience interested in the game. Right after Season 5 debuted, everywhere you looked on the map you could see somebody in the all-terrain cart going absolutely crazy. There was crash after crash after crash and people were taking them into battle and getting blown up almost immediately. I can only imagine what the enemies were thinking who hadn't seen the carts yet, while the vehicles do an all-out assault on their base. So far we haven't seen a huge advantage of taking the vehicles in so crazy, but I'm sure some streamer or pro Fortnite player out there will figure out a strategy to make sure the carts are killer. Storms and Rifts As if all these changes weren't enough, we're also getting treated to all new in-game features that make life or death differences. In this season, as the storm closes in around you, the center of the storm circles can now shift in random directions, instead of just shrinking. So as the storm approaches and certain death is near, it might actually move and shrink to a new location. It's a roll of the dice, people. And remember when we were talking about the portals all throughout the map? Well, did we forget to mention that you can actually step through them? These rifts will send you to another spot on the map, instantly teleporting you which could lead to victory or a sudden and shameful defeat. It's going to take a lot of courage to do it, so get out there and try it out. Well, that was a ton of new Season 5 stuff, guys, and that's the end of the video. Let us know what you're most excited about in the new season. Skins, locations, whatever. 
leave your interesting comments down below. And please remember to click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all our new videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on Spawn Island.